o'clock, we got Middle Tennessee State also traveling to Virginia Tech. If you don't know what happened last week with Middle Tennessee State, I did a game on a game prediction on this one. They went, they started season one and zero, had a fifteen fifty win over Monmouth. Bailey Hockman, their starting quarterback, went seventeen and twenty two, threw for two hundred fifteen yards and three touchdowns. Obviously, great day through the air. Frank Pageant did not add the best game running the ball. He had five carries for 27 yards. They did not dominate in the ground game, which is something that you're probably going to need if you want to upset Virginia Tech here. Jalen Lane had a pretty good day through the air. Only had four catches, but ended with 91 yards and a touchdown. Virginia Tech, everyone remembers the Virginia Tech game because I predicted it could work. Let's go. Uh, but they played number 10 UNC at home, obviously. Um, but... Virginia Tech went and they stunned the entire world by beating a top 10 team and ended up launching them in the top 25. Now, Virginia Tech, uh, had they, they were favorite with 20 points in this game on the ACC Network, if you want to know. Braxton Burmeister went 12-19 in that game through for 169 yards, touchdown, and in a pick. Understand, that's not phenomenal stat. But, on the other hand, uh, you could see how dominating he was. He was so great through the air, uh, he made one bad throw. That was the pick. Uh, but he threw a lot of accurate passes. He ran the off offense efficiently and well. Jalen Holston had 13 carries for 49 yards. Again, it was more like a running back by committee. And you could see, like, they were just wearing down the UNC defense. They were dominant in the first half if it wasn't for some fumbles. Uh, they would scored a good amount of points in that first half. And it would have been a much easier win for the Hokies. Uh, they're... Their number one receiver was Raheem Blackshear. He ended up with three catches for 66 yards. The thing that won this game, in my opinion, for Virginia Tech was how dominant the defense was. And I thought it was going to be dominant going in. They ended up having three picks against UNC. Obviously, they had the game sealer when they picked him off when Sam Howell was trying to do a game-winning drive. He, They were just killing uh, Sam Howell. And Sam Howell was set to be a first-round draft pick, and it just shows you how great... The Virginia Tech defense can be. They play Notre Dame in a couple weeks, and we'll see if they are legit contenders then. If they beat Notre Dame, we're going to have to put start putting Virginia Tech in some national conversations. Because let's be honest, I don't, outside of Miami and Notre Dame, they don't have any really tough games down the stretch. And if they can win those two, they could be undefeated heading into the ACC championship game, which if you win that game, then they're in the playoffs. And, man, you're a Hokies fan. I understand it's going a little bit ahead, but... They won their toughest game in week one. That was their toughest game on the schedule, and they won it. So great for Virginia Tech. Middle Tennessee State and Virginia Tech have never played before. They're fair, but 20 in this game. I really love the Hokies. I think they are national contenders at this point in time. I think they are going to rise up the top 25 relatively quickly, and I think they're going to crush the Blue Raiders.